rebel scum. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Xbox Frequency playing Star Wars Battlefront, playing Turning Point, post commentary, after the fact, after the game. Xbox Frequency and Pack the Panzer. We're, we're going to get her going today. Turning Point Online. Um, if you've seen my other uh, Turning Point video with Pack, you know uh, I just said we get clever and we, we get her done. So here are the matches starting up. I spawned up. The Honest Shadow Trooper. So we're going to be defending the points here in Turning Point. So I almost forget this. Uh, this game here, I'm going to be interested to watch this again. See what I do here. So it's just chaos right off the beginning, that's for sure. I think I decided to do is go to this right flank here because we're under they're under pressure. Nice grenade toss. Coming around, moving around a lot. But he had just fallen there before that rock launcher connected. I think I might have I don't think I got the kill assist. I think he was dead before the rocket exploded there. Regardless, moving up well, moving around well here, moving back. Kind of shooting out to the left flank to give him some support. Just kind of hovering back here, picking off some uh, some rebel scum over there. Some real quick aiming, buddy. Uh, knocks me out there though. We were. Our team has been pushing them up very well, though, past the defense point. So you can't even, you can't go past that part. So you can't really push into the rebels that hard, push them back from your defending point. You kind of more just have to hover. So really, I'm just staying back here. There's a lot of them flooding in. See, I don't know if my shield fell there, or once you go on that turret, your personal shield falls. For some reason, I was thinking that the personal shield would still be up for a little bit while I was on that turret, but that's something I need to try. I have a feeling that it does go down as soon as you go on a turret, though. Maybe not, though. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, flying through the sky. Boom, we get sniped hard by the pulse cannon there. So I come around here to outflank. Through the grenade, but buddy already dropped. Boom, not, not, not too much I can do about that. Smart Rocket coming in the zone. people I'm start moving back here a lot there's a smart rocket that comes unfortunately they outflank us and I'm an easy target there I'm being a little gutsy at this point too which is kind of stupid I should have just hunkered down more or less on our defending point Take up new position. 
because they end up taking our point here anyways. Thus uh, us needing to fall back. So I ended up falling back way too far. I'm not too used to the supremacy on the Twilight on Hoth map here. So moving around a lot here. End up getting picked up. just uh i think i kind of remember this i feel i had a bad feeling about where i was because i got dropped so i i thought they'd be challenging it pick up buddy on the ridge throw a granada down in there so i think this is pretty cool what's about to happen here i forget what i do exactly Throw the personal shield on, throw a grenade, a jump pack up top, get the grenade kill, come back down, get a double kill. And right here, I'm just waiting for that grenade because I know they're all flooding there. We got guys out there. So I throw the grenade, then I pick up another. Now I'm at two. I obviously got to sit back for a second. But he's already cleared out. I keep trying to deploy that turret. I end up deploying it here. Just waiting for him to come around that mountain. There's pack of Panzer in there. Stirring up. I think they throw a smoke grenade here. It's kind of shooting blindly, and then the Viper probe droid is there, so I just decided to move here. And uh, we're defending well, but what we'll, what we kind of we didn't have much. I wasn't really paying too much of that right flank, which is kind of foolish. Because usually you like to go back and forth, but. Usually I like to go back and forth, you know, and protect whatever the weakest point is usually. So that's kind of foolish on on my my part there not to, to move out. But this is where it really counts on turning point is the last point. It's only one point they have to take, so it's kinda it's kinda hard. You can't there's not two options, there's only one point they have to take. So this is a toughie though, this is a toughie at the same time, and this is just chaos here. I end up getting the kill. Just kind of holding the line, falling back. So really all I'm thinking is about getting to this defending point and defending. So I pick up another kill there. Buddy coming in. Pick up a nice distance kill there. And I really love that EE3. I don't know what it is. I feel like... Even though it's not like the best for distance, I feel like it still has a good like distance range. So there we both, both put up a, or two uh, power squad shields there, but pack. Ended up getting hit by the ro a rocket launcher somewhere, it looked like, or a smart rocket or a homing missile. But, uh, he did spawn back on me. And I think what I wanted to do here was, they seem seemed to be coming in thick there, so I was going to just kind of hit the right flank hard and... 
You know, not don't let these snipers play in the garden here on our on our guys here. Keeping them honest. Keeping them on their toes. So what I think happens here is they all start flooding in here, I think. If I remember correctly. Yeah. I'm just letting them have it. It's pure chaos. Trying to hold the line as best we can. stupid I kind of dropped and hurt myself. I do get the melee, but Buddy gets blows me up with Thermal Imploder or Thermal Detonator. I don't even know. He ends up dropping afterwards anyways. So gotta love that jump pack. It just gets you there faster. So crucial. Boom. Picking up a quick kill there on my way over to the capture point. Picking up another distance kill. Coming down with Pack and my team here. Back to defending. Yeah, and the EE3 is really good. I love the three three burst fire. It's great. Ended up getting another distance kill. And I would say I really like the DL44 for the longest time, but the EE3 is really what has grown on me the most, I find. So I'm more or less hovering back here and Buddy ends up picking me up. And it is just a rush for that capture point. It was, it's just one of those real iffy moments, you know, there's a lot of time you gotta kill, you really gotta hold down the point here. So, I think I foolishly learned my lesson here. Not to be up there. Oh, and I get just mealy down and hard. But he is just a little bit quicker on that mealy there on the. So, I end up finding the way up the walkway here. Me and me and Pack the Panzer one and one and two for the team right now. Picking up a nice double kill there. Not paying too much attention, you know what I mean? If they're in my way, I'm gonna take them out, but I gotta get to that capture point, and I end up getting sniped anyways. Don't want to stay up on that thing too long. So what I like to do is I want to get right in the defending point and defend the zone. Okay, his buddy throws a thermal imploder, so I put my personal shield on there just to take cover and we both get to kill one another there. I'm surprised I got the kill on him because he put me down to like barely any health and then I blasted him up a bunch of times he missed. And then we both killed each other at the same time. So that's why you can't stay up here for very long. As long as you have control of the field, which we don't here in this situation. So yeah, I remember being so rattled by that. Sometimes when you jump off, you'll die from the fall. It is what it is. So I end up uh, just...
I end up just uh, pushing up here. Picking up a nice dirty in your face kind of kill there. But yeah, someone ends up putting the homing shot, I think, onto me. I take cover, they'll let it explode. But he's just standing there. Remember this? He's just standing there. I'm just off him a slight bit, and then I move over and I get him. But, uh, didn't stay there too long. I started getting fired upon. But it's a good spot for uh, the team to also pick up eventually. But I just wanted to come around. I've been kind of hugging our right flank here the whole time and trying to keep them honest here. Even though Sniper's kind of in the distance, you don't want to make him feel comfortable anywhere. That's really how you get in their head is they can't feel comfortable anywhere. They can't even come close to the capture point. But at the same time, i got to sweep back into the middle of it and to try to support the team here. I don't know why I delayed there so much for that kill. I ended up getting a nice quick double to kill, though. Throwing a granada. It's getting really hectic here. Getting down to the wire here. Getting another quick kill. Refreshing the cards. Boom. We end up holding it out. Taking the victory. Very well done. Pack going 48 and 18, myself going 36 and 15. Very, very good. You know, one and two, doing awesome. And a pack the Panzer takes the board. That's just not normal. Pack is clever. But uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching me, guys. Peace out. Catch me for more vids. Later.